Resident Evil 4. Let's do it. Let's do it. Bam. All right. But yeah, no. I, Did I come through or go through this door? I came from you it. Came, you came from that door. I came from that door. Um, you know what? You know what? You know what I can't hear and not follow up with. What's that? If someone goes hit it, I gotta go. <laughs> it takes two to make things go right. <laughs> it takes two to make it how to say. Bam. If I, I can't, if I hear hit it. I can't, I can't even do the sound, but it's just, oh, fuck these guys. It takes two to make a thing go right. It takes two to make it out of sight. There you go. Oh, that one guy's just like, nope. I'm gonna heal because he's gonna kill me. And you're almost, you have unlocked almost your full potential. So if you had to pick. Sure. Between. Two days. Between, uh. I'm sorry, what? Marvel and DC as to which one has the greater pantheon of both heroes, villains, and or, or heroes, villains, and side characters. Which ones do you have to pick? Um, I have always been. I'm I'm a DC guy. I've always been more DC guy mm -hmm. than than Marvel. I like the Marvel. Like, listen, just like everybody in my age group, I fucking watched the X Men Fox cartoon and the Spider Man Fox cartoon, and they were great. Na, 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 na. But like, I've always been like a Batman fan. Like that's always been like my origin point for superheroes is Batman. Right. And as much as I'm not a, as big a fan of, like, Superman and some of the other, like, sort of godlike titan characters of the DC Universe, mm -hmm. I am a bigger fan of the DC Universe. I think that Marvel, they both made mistakes in the 90s, but I think <laughs> Marvel has a lot more, like... What do you mean Lex Luthor has red hair? There's a lot more, like, crazy, like, like we, I don't know, there's something about... I've How always, many Spider-Men are there? There's something I've always kind of liked more about the DC Universe, as much as it's kind of, like become stale over the years mm -hmm. because the um dc okay it's the same way that i drink coke instead of pepsi like it's like dc is dc is coke to marvel's pepsi 100 percent. even though their colors are reversed right um and i say that because whereas coke is like how does coke advertise themselves as classic coke this is the soda your grandfather drank yeah it's like it's like all of their course have to do with like all oh, the shape of a bottle like we've been around for so long you know from back from the 1800s pepsi Started off as this like ain't your grandfather's exactly coke. because they started off as the cheap bargain basement version of Coca Cola. Mm -hmm. Did you ever hear that story of what happened with Pepsi? Uh, no. What happened was um. Hey Ashley. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah, this is the room that she was uh, locked in. Is she wearing the gold bangle you picked up one time? I don't think so. she. She doesn't have a bracelet on, but she's always had it on. Oh. Uh. We did it. Yay. This is one of my favorite screens. It's the two of their faces like that. Um. What was it saying? Um, yeah, like... Bargainment? Yeah, basically what happened with Pepsi was, um... They... Got, um... When they were first starting out, like, they got... They were able to get for cheap a bunch of, like, glass bottles. Like, but, like, larger, like... I don't know what the sizes were. Like, so let's say it was 12 ounce. Let's say Pe let's say Coke was 12 ounce and... Let's say Coke was 12 ounces, right? Mm -hmm. They got, like, a bunch of, like, um... Large 16 ounce bottles on the cheap like a shitload and so they were selling pepsi in those bottles and but they were charging the same price as coke let's say coke is charging 10 cents or five let's say 10 cents i don't know what the proper maybe it was five cents maybe it was 10 i don't know the at the time they were selling the same price but they were giving more cola right and you think oh who doesn't want more for less money but it made it seem as if they were a cheaper soda right like they were the bargain soda mm -hmm. and so they got kind of forever pushed as like into that category Mm -hmm. as like the cheap like not as good as Pepsi because you know they're not willing to pay as much money because they're not as good but it, meanwhile it was just smart investing on their part yeah exactly it was like you know well we we have we were able to get this size bottle and oh my god people don't know our product well enough to want to spend more money on it so we can't go around selling it for more money mm -hmm. um you know let's let's we'll sell for the same price because that wasn't that wasn't why we got these bottles. We just happened to luck into them. Um, and then it took them years to kind of like rewrite that image. And it was in the '80s and '90s that they went into this like generation next. Yeah, like, it very much like we like it's it's like it's a choice of the next gen. It's a choice of a new of a new generation. Mm -hmm. The idea that like the young people liked Pepsi. Pepsi was for young, vivacious, life living people. Mm -hmm. Um, and Coke was for like old fuddy duddies. But Coke. <laughs> Use it as like, no, 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 we're classic. Like, think about things that are classic. You know what I mean? Think about the fucking Mustang. Think about the fucking E. Fucker. Ah! Like, yeah. 
fucking bitch America. Like, they both had a very different... Uh, you'd probably want a green herb. I probably do want at least one green herb. Um, yeah. You know what I mean? That's That was mm -hmm. different than their strategy. And I, that's kind of what... Um, I'm saying all this, I'm sorry, because to me, that's what Marvel and DC seem to be. Um, Marvel has always been, I think, more willing to change. Mm -hmm. Change their characters, ad adopt their characters. Um... They put their characters into more like real world situations. Yep. Um, and they fit better into those situations. They have less, including like some of the Hulk characters. They has they have less overly powered characters. Like a lot of their, a lot of their stable characters are not that powerful. Spider Man's not really that strong. Captain America's not that strong. Iron Man's not that strong. Iron Man used to be really weak. Like before the like movie reboot, Iron Man was like a low tier hero. People didn't like him that much, and he always got his suit fucked up and he was never that great a hero his, his uh, biggest uh, problems he always had to face was like oh no he doesn't have a suit what happens now yeah that, that was the big thing for him um, and like his heart was about to explode every five seconds yeah I'm, oh. having, I'm having a lot of problems here I need to do a full on should be fine there you go like they're not gonna kill her no but they're gonna try to get her the fuck out of here oh I got lucky on that one <laughs> yeah he didn't shoot her in the head no, yeah, I, I get what I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. So but anyway, so it's that, it's, and and honestly, I do have more of an affinity for like the classic over the new. Mm -hmm. Like I like record players more than like I understand. Like listen, I have an iPhone. I'm not gonna fucking sit here and be like, <laughs> I, 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 like everything used to be yeah, better. Yeah, I'm all hang. Yeah, exactly. Like things have definitely gotten better as time. And I, and, I, and let's be fair, I, ne I never lived in, a, lived in a time where those things were the thing to do. But I do have an affinity for kind of some classic things, um, and I think. I don't know, there seems to be more, and maybe it's not, and it's not necessarily true, it just, again, it's marketing and it feels that way. Something about DC feels more like, ah, like the classic American comic book. I don't know what it is, something about Superman and Batman, they just feel like the prototypical hero, where Spider-Man feels like the young kid hero. Like, we need to appeal to the kids by having someone who's like them, so that they can relate to. He's a nerdy character who's just trying to make his way in the world. Right. As opposed to Batman, as opposed to Batman, Batman and Superman are power fantasies, like, wouldn't it be cool to be like an indestructible god? Oh, I, oh, oh I, t I talked over this. God damn it. <laughs> You'll just have to boost the audio later. Ah, uh, 3PO! 3PO! Whoa! Is it great? Is it great? I knew you'd be fine if you landed on your butt. <laughs> you... This is like a level of, like, relation they haven't had so far in the game. This. <laughs> like, I love that scene. You didn't... I didn't play it properly. So this guy... This is bullshit. I wish I could kill him now, but I can't. He's gonna get up and chase us. Um... It's one of those things where, like, when they're jumping off, he, she, he, he, he's, like, it, it's, like, she looks at she's like, it stinks, and he looks at her knowingly, and she's like, no way, and he's like, way, and, <laughs> and it's funny to hear him talk with that, in that, in that way. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay. So you, you got this. Yeah, I got, I got this like a motherfucker. Oh, by the way, look at my ammo. <laughs> yeah. Down, I've got this. One. Two. Oh. Missed it there. Yeah, you have to be very precise. Kind of Especially when it's right next to there. Yeah. It kind of slips a little bit sometimes. Uh, there you go. There's another one on his back. Is there? Yeah. Okay. That's so cheap. I There it is. I saw it for like a brief second. I got it. Nice. Eventually, if he kept pushing up against the bars, the gate would open. Huh. I don't quite understand why. He happened to hit the lever? I guess. I, guess. I gotta open this thing to get it. <laughs> he had a lot of money on him, though. Yeah. Nice. But yeah, I would have to we're agree. At that late stage, we're at that late stage of the game where, like... Come here. Um, Because if I list my favorite superheroes, like... They're all DC heroes. Like, if I have to go... It's like it's like Batman. Like, who... Mm -hmm. You can't not have Batman. Like, Batman, obviously. Um, I love, like, my favorite superhero of all time is Booster Gold. <laughs> he's a DC character. Yep. In some ways, he's a little more like a Marvel character in some ways. But in like, some ways, yeah. But he's still a DC character, and he's my, he's my favorite character. Um, Blue Beetle, mm -hmm. um, who's very much like DC Spider-Man. Yes. Um, you know, so there's something said about that. Um, Captain Marvel. The original Captain Marvel, not Marvel's Captain Marvel. Yes. Who, who has now been renamed Shazam. Due to legal issues involving that other Captain Marvel. Yep. For those who don't know... The character of Captain Marvel is the character we all know. He ha he is Billy Batson, a young boy who calls on the power of an old wizard. Sometimes the wizard is named Shazam. Sometimes he's not. Sometimes he's just the wizard. Yep. 
um, is an 11 year old orphan who calls upon mystical powers of uh, the old go of uh, the Greek gods, and um, he to summon those powers. He has to say the magic words Shazam, mm -hmm. which stand for um, the wisdom of Solomon, the strength of Hercules. no, the bravery of Hercules, the strength of Atlas. Ah, uh, okay. Like the courage of Hercules, the strength of Atlas, Shazam. Um, and uh, Zeus, the lightning of the Zeus. lightning, yeah, the lightning, the magic of Zeus, the wisdom of uh, Athena. No, wisdom was, of, 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 was was I think it's oh my god, what is it? It's like the 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 intelligence of Solomon and the wisdom of Athena. She's she's in there somewhere. One of the one of the mm -hmm. one of the smart gods is in there by Solomon is the first one. I think it's he's wisdom, and another one is like temperance or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then the speed of Mercury. Right. So he's got super speed. He's invulnerable. He can shoot magic like lightning bolts. You know, he's he's very courageous. He is magic superman in yes. fact for a while in american history um he was more popular than superman mm -hmm. um, which is really interesting to me um because you think of superman as being like the ultimate like superhero uh but that's not necessarily the case i, I don't need this uh attachment for this thing um i need to switch it from bread maker to blender um and he was not originally owned by dc he was created by another comic book company uh, yes. Which whose name I forget at the moment, but went under, and um, you know as as what happens, and then years later, um, that comic book and all the all of its rights, uh, all that, that company and all the rights, all the characters were bought by DC. In the interim, when that company wasn't around and they weren't making the Captain Marvel comics, Marvel, the the comic book creators, the publishers decided that they would make their own character named Captain Marvel. Because why not? So that they could have the right to the name. They were like, hey, we're Marvel. We should own the rights to a character named Marvel. I'm gonna give, I'm like nervous about that because I'm gonna give her one. Uh, if there's any yellow, I'm gonna start giving to her rather than me. Because I'm, I'm close, but like, I'm, I'm almost, I'm pretty much there, so I don't care anymore. Mm -hmm. If I have a chance to give to her, I will give to her. Um, and that was literally the reason. The reason was entirely because Hey, it was because we want to we want to legally own this name, so they use a, like a little loophole of like, if they're not doing it, then they don't have the rights to it, and therefore, we can do it, and then we'll be precedent, and it worked, um, kind of. When DC tried to release tried to make new Captain Marvel comics, um, Marvel was like, uh, 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 we own the rights to the name Captain Marvel. You can't do that. And DC said, that's bullshit. This character's been around way longer than your character, um, and they took it to court, and the court basically found. They did a fucking Solomon split. They were like, each one gets half the baby. <laughs> they decided, okay, here's the thing. Because Marvel is right about the whole precedent thing. It's like, th there was no Captain Marvel around. There was nobody to protect the copyright of the character. Mm -hmm. So they own the rights to the name of the character, Captain Marvel. But so do you. And it's like, what? Um, basically, in print publication, in every single version, Marvel could use the term Captain Marvel. Um, they could have it in print, they could have it in movies. This character could be um, marketed as Captain Marvel. He was Captain Marvel. Right. But the original Captain Marvel, the Billy oh. Batson Captain Marvel, he could only be referred to Captain Marvel within the pages of the comic book. They could not market him as Captain Marvel, which is why none of the Captain Marvel, the new Captain Marvel comics, you know, I say new, the ones made post a certain er uh, uh, time, actually say Captain Marvel on them. They're all, they all... That was a bullshit monster spawn. Yeah. They're all named uh, Shazam. Shazam. Um, even like, th there were, you know, old movie serials and TV shows and radio shows and they were all called The Power of Shazam. And it was like, young Billy Batson also known as Captain... But within the pages of the comic book, they could call him Captain Marvel. Mm -hmm. Very, very weird. So if you go out and you find a Captain Marvel toy, it will not say Captain Marvel on it. It'll say it, Shazam. It'll say Shazam. So this is such a thorn in their side for so long that they tried many different ways to kind of get around it and do different things with it to the point where now they've just got with the new 52 universe reboot of the Marvel of the DC series they've just said fuck it he's not Captain Marvel his name is literally just Shazam right like like they kind of like Marvel basically won the war of like did they just tired DC out it was basically like it was basically like fuck it like they won just because like DC got too tired to fight it yeah it was too confused like they it was just too confusing to audiences like like people were like wait is he Shazam or is he Captain Marvel I don't understand I was like oh he's so neither. they said fuck it he's got he's, he's, he's Shazam he's just Shazam um I don't like that I'm a big Captain Marvel fan and I like him as Captain as Marvel as Captain Marvel yeah. I don't like him as Shazam yeah but that what do you what am I gonna do I have no power over that yes 
Um, it does suck, and because, it sucks especially since like the DC version of Captain Marvel. I'm sorry, the Marvel version of Captain Marvel is like kind of lame. Really? He's he's an alien named Captain Marvel. Yeah. And his and basically the only reason he's named Captain Marvel is because humans thought his name sound when they said what his name was they thought he was saying his name is so similar to Marvel yeah. in his alien tongue that they thought he was literally named oh it's like I am Captain Marvel oh Captain Marvel no no Marvel what's the difference like you know what I mean yeah, yeah. and it's spelled weird it has like an H in it um although now I think I think now the current Captain Marvel is actually a female like and rather than being Miss Marvel Miss mm -hmm. Marvel is just Captain Marvel because it's a way to kind of Demon Which isn't isn't the there a separate character named Miss Marvel? Currently, I don't know. I don't know if concurrently there are, there is a Miss Marvel and a Captain Marvel. I think the character who we think of as Miss Marvel is now the current Captain Marvel. No, good for her. She got promoted. Like, I I think I I might I might be wrong. Not really promoted. It's just that there couldn't be two Captain Marvels. Mm -hmm. So what they had to differentiate, and it was just like, all right, you're Miss Marvel and you're Captain Marvel. Um, One heal actually but just feels like a waste of herb. Although if he gets hit again, she will die. She's at a point where she can only take two hits. So maybe you do give her. Yeah, herb? but um, we're kind of safe for right now. Uh, Even though you hear the. <laughs> yeah, but you can't get those. And uh, this game does have checkpoints. Like, it, the save points are only for like when you have to turn off the game. Mm -hmm. But if I die now, I won't go back to my last save point. I'll go back. I'll spawn right here. No, oh, okay. So I'm not too worried about it. Okay, this is kind of bullshit. <laughs> it's, it's a shame she couldn't hide in one of those lockers. Yeah. What's nice to do is when you hit them, not only does he wiggle, but he also, like, shifts backwards. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, uh, Gives me a little bit more space. And, yeah, you got him. Okay. Just for my own sake. You're gonna close that. Yeah, fuck that. I couldn't close it. It doesn't close. Oh. Oh, because there's a thing here. I think that's reason why. Oh, let's try it now. There you go. Yeah, that, right. that, I knew that can close. There's another one of these guys. Mm -hmm, I, need you to, can I, need, I need to check my six. All right, he's not there. He's not there. There you go. There you go. Right, go. Another one. And got him. Nice. One, two, three. Oh. Um, yeah, but we got off topic. But we got to off topic. I, I just, I just got my Captain Marvel rant because I think it's, I think it's really dumb. It is. It's the issue of like really dumb copyright. Like, like I would have actually preferred them to be like, no, like Marvel Comics owns it. Marvel is Marvel. Fuck it. <laughs> like at least that's like sensible. Mm -hmm. Like whether you think, oh, it should have been this or that. It's like at least we have a solid answer. Right. Living in that weird perpetuity of like, no, he's Captain Marvel in the comics, but you can't uh -huh. advertise it. Like a techno, a lot of techno kind of stuff is kind of bullshit. But yeah, I just like DC more. Like, I don't know what it is. And 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 a lot of people think that DC characters are are boring because they're overly powered. And I and I kind of think that that's bullshit. Mm -hmm. My reason is that like being overly powered doesn't make like what does that what does that mean? What does that mean they're boring because they have too much power? It's it's cause guess what? It's like, "Oh, Superman's not boring because he's basically immortal." Guess what? Every superhero's fucking immortal. They're Im they're as immortal as the writer wants to make them. See Rogers gets shot in the head. Guess what? Comes back to life. Why? Because we wanted to write more comics about him. <laughs> Spider Man's immortal. It's like oh, they, Marvel said that oh, Spider Man is Peter Parker is going to age and die. They've said that mm -hmm. he will one day not be Spider Man until they reboot their franchise and they bring him back and they make a young Peter Parker in another Ultimate Spider Man, Ultimate Spider Man, ultimate, superior, incredible, superior, super. spectacular, amazing, fantastical Spider Man. So that whole thing of oh, Superman's lame because he can't be beaten. None of them can be beaten. They all lose the battle, but they never lose the war. Let's face facts. Let's be adults about this. We all know that. We all know our favorite heroes will never go away. As long as somebody likes them, as, somebody, as long as somebody likes writing for them, they'll always be around. Mm -hmm. So saying that Superman's boring because he, can, he can't die is bullshit because Lois Lane can't die. Because there'll always be a Lois Lane to Superman's, Superman's Clark Kent. Because mm -hmm. guess what? Right now in the, in the new DCU, Superman's dating Wonder Woman. When they're bored with that, guess who's going to date? Lois Lane again. Then it'll be Lana Lang. Then it'll be Wonder Woman again. Then it'll be like Supergirl or something. Like they'll just they'll change it as much as they want to change it. Mm -hmm. So that's why my thing is bullshit. He's boring because he can't be. Beat. It's like how a character being beaten in a fight isn't the crux of a story. That's that's a that's a couple panels. 
It's their overall ability to deal with problems that's interesting and how they deal with those problems and how they relate to the world around them. If, if Superman is boring, that's because people are writing him boring because they're bad writers. Superman isn't interesting because he can throw a punch. Spider-Man's not interesting because he can shoot web. He's interesting because there's pathos behind the character. You can create pathos behind Superman. He doesn't need to be mortal to be interesting. Because guess what? The Greek gods were fucking super powerful and the Greeks who created them thought they were very interesting. Yeah. Otherwise they wouldn't have kept fucking writing about them. So that's always been a crux, a, a, a bullshit thing for me. It's like, oh, Superman's boring because he's too powerful. I don't even like Superman, but I will defend him on that. <laughs> that no character is too powerful to be boring. That's not a thing. If you have a character who's powerful and can't lose, just write them more interesting. Have them be an interesting character that you like to follow. Or you know, make enemies you know who, that also You know who die. else can't die? Deadpool. He's literally immortal. That's true. Thanos right? made him immortal. I'm not even talking about his regenerative skill. Not only is he regenerative, has not only is he immortal because of his regenerative powers. I think at one point Thanos gave him immortality, because both him and Thanos are in love with death, literally, physically in love with the physical manifestation of the Grim Reaper. Yes. They love death, and in order to keep Deadpool from being one with his one true love, he made him immortal. How's that for some Greek god <laughs> bullshit? Huh? Immortality is boring. <sighs> Everybody loves Deadpool. And everybody thinks he's interesting. And is he interesting because he can die? No, he's interesting because he ha breaks the fourth wall. And he's funny. Because he's written really great. You can write any character great. Anything can be made interesting if you have a fucking good writer doing it. It's true. How do I do this? I have to leave her here. Wait. But you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you know, it's just... it's If something's boring, it's because he didn't do it right. I mean, there's, there, you know, there's caveats to that. You know, it's, it's. Uh, I hit the wrong button. God damn it, Ashley. Fine, you stay here. I'll move here. I hit A instead of X. Here, try. Boom, boom, ding. I expected the middle light to glow green. That's why I got confused. Ah. Um, I was like, what? Oh shit. Um, it's like, yeah, some things. I, there are some premises that, like, in and of themselves, aren't maybe interesting premises. But I, I think, I think that the idea that someone is too powerful to be interesting is. Not true. Maybe that, maybe their power set doesn't interest you. Maybe the fact, maybe you want someone who struggles on a physical level and not at a moral level. But, you know, th th that in, in and of itself, it is not objectively boring or impossible to write and make, make interesting. Like, anybody out there fucking just read All-Star Superman. Yes. Like, if you hate Superman like I did, read All-Star Superman. It will change your opinion about how Superman is as a character. And you realize that's like, wow, he's kind of a cool dude. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. Oh, my God. Get ready, guys. We're going to go on a trip. Choo-choo.